Hi, I'm Patty Hayden, Senior Park Ranger at Flint Springs County Park. Today I'm going to talk about how you can swap invasive plants on your property with native plants. Now we know that invasive plants cause harm to our natural ecosystem, but did you know that they can also cause harm to your property? By removing invasive plants from your property and replacing them with native plants, you're lowering your fire risk. You are also allowing more water to get to thirsty native plants. This provides valuable habitat for our native pollinators like bees and butterflies. And it reduces the negative environmental impacts that invasive species have on our surrounding ecosystems. Now there are several ways to detect invasive plants, even if you're not an expert in plant identification. Some characteristics are just clear giveaways. Here are some things that you can look for. Rapid growth and maturity, prolific seed production, highly successful seed dispersal, germination, and colonization, rampant spread, often through other plant communities, and the ability to outcompete native species. Controlling the population is key because without constant maintenance, they could take over an area, stifling the plants that were there first and completely altering a wildlife habitat. In our parks, we take several courses of action, depending on what it is that we are trying to control. For plants like papyrus, mustard, and stinging nettle, we may, we may pull, mow, or use weed whippers. Now here's a pro tip. Pulling is easiest after a rain when the soil is still wet and you can get them by the roots, preventing future growth without having to remove much earth. We may also spray herbicides and remove the plants once they have died. Our sprays meet state and federal standards and those who apply them go through a stringent training process to ensure safe and proper use. Once the invasive plants are removed and where possible, we replace them with something that is supposed to be there. This restores the habitat and makes it a little tougher for them to come back. Hi, I'm Nate Pownell, park ranger at Flint Springs County Park. And invasive species are just that, invasive. They're not a part of the natural ecology of the area and interrupt the health and sustainability of sensitive habitats. As park rangers, we provide recreation spaces and opportunities, but we also spend a significant portion of our time protecting our land and local wildlife. Invasive species mitigation is just one part of a much more expansive program to preserve our outdoor spaces. And it's something you can do as you develop the land around your home. Create an oasis, your own personal piece of San Diego habitat comprised of the plants and trees that were here centuries ago so you can extend their existence for generations to come. There are so many cool plants to choose from. The best part is they thrive on little water and are perfectly suited to our sunny climate, so it's relatively easy to keep them happy and healthy. When you plant native, you are reducing reliance on water, expanding habitat for animals and insects, and protecting against invasive overgrowth, which, if left unchecked, can provide fuel for wildfires. This focus on sustainability, is good for the environment and it will help safeguard your property from the dangers of wildfires. Now I highly encourage you to attend more talks and interpretive programs by park rangers and by our friends at agencies like the Resource Conservation District and the San Diego River Park Foundation. Or simply stop by a county park like ours here at Flynn Springs in El Cajon to see what we're doing to support our land and local wildlife. Thank you for joining us and happy trails.